Hi Leo, welcome to your August Twin Flame reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome, and thank you. Leo, so if you believe you're on a Twin Flame journey or connecting with a twin, let's see what's going on for you. So I'm going to be doing uh, sort of like a you versus them style reading, but we're going to look into here, Leo, uh, what the current, current energies are between the two of you, how you're both feeling and viewing each other. And then we'll also uh, look at the obstacles and challenges you both may have and also any outer influences. So welcome in, welcome in. Happy birthday. Hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. There will also be an extended reading, Leo, so if this does resonate for you and you would like to go to the extended reading, um, all that information is down below. Links are down there in the description box. And everything you need to know about me and my channels down there also if you like a private reading uh july august readings patreon lots of stuff down there so do check that out this is for sun moon rising and venus male or female general collective reading so please only take it how it resonates for you i will be putting the feminine um, on this side and the masculine on that side but it's up to you to determine if you're the masculine or the feminine or what side uh, resonates with you all right, for Leo, let's see what's going on for you. And the cards that you see me placing over on the side there, those are for your extended. And I'll show you those just a little bit later. All right, Leo, let's see what's going on for you on this Twin Flame journey. All right, let's see. For, and I'll be using two separate decks, uh, tarot decks. And... Uh, I like to do that because then we get to see if there'll be any um, mirroring energy between the two of you. All right, so this side I'll be calling the feminine. So let's see what you have. Ooh, heaven. And we have 70, which is seven. Seven is a divinely guided spiritual energy. And uh, I feel like you could be in a kind of a, like a really dream state, right? Dreamy state right now like uh, imagining, daydreaming of what it would actually be like to be with your masculine. So you may be in like that, um, like that giddy happy state right now, just envisioning like heaven on earth with your masculine. And we have embracing enthusiasm. Shout to the heavens with happiness. Oh my gosh, I can't make that up, Leo. Look at this, we have heaven and shout to the heavens. You're feeling really good and this enthusiastic about this, but you could be in the beginning stages. I'm feeling like beginning stages of a journey because I feel like you're, you're in that happy, giddy, um, like on cloud nine kind of feeling. It could be like the beginning stages of having the crush or whatever it is for you, you know, just finding out why you feel so strongly about this person and feeling really like good, happy, and giddy about the connection. All right. But we do have butterflies there for transformation. So you're definitely hoping something's gonna transform or transpire here between you and your masculine. So let's see what the masculine has. Angel of Jupiter Awaken. So we have six. Six is a very healing, balanced energy. So Jupiter is the sign of Sagittarius. Jupiter is ruled by Sagittarius, so some could be connecting with the Sagittarius. So, you know, Jupiter is about luck, expansion, growth, faith. It's all about that good and opportunity energy coming in, like the Wheel of Fortune energy. Let's see what else he has here. Distant Thunder, clear the air. Hmm. So I feel like there may not be uh, much communication right now, or maybe you're not getting clear signals from your masculine. I feel like you're feeling like hopeful and optimistic about the connection, but I feel like maybe your masculine <clears throat> isn't really telling you everything or you don't really know a lot about him. And I think he knows here that he needs to kind of clear the air up between the two of you. So I don't know. Um, I don't know if there was a little fight, argument, or something that happened here that made uh, you know a little bit of a stormy energy between you, but he's definitely feeling in a better en better energy about the connection or whatever happened between you, and he definitely does 
think about or want to uh, clear the air between you. All right. So let's look at the feminine first. So let's see what your current energy is. The feminine. Again, Leo, if you feel like that's you, you definitely can be female and be masculine. You definitely can be male and be feminine. All right. So I'm going to call this side the feminine side. You choose your side. All right. Feminine. For Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective. What's going on? Whoops. All right. That's um, that one, that one, one more, that one. All right. All right. No, they're telling me to put them back this way. Okay. All right. We have Four of Swords. So definitely, I don't feel like there's a lot of communication right now, but you're heavily thinking about your masculine, but there's not a lot going on. I feel like you're feeling a little overwhelmed. Well, there you are, Leo, coming out, the sun. So you're definitely knowing here this is your twin flame. King of Pentacles. So I feel like here, Leo, I feel like, okay, what else here? Page of Cups. I'm getting energy here, Leo, that you're trying to create new things in your life because you see her trying to weave something there. And then like this real stable, grounded energy. You know, you, your money could be really good right now. King or queen, doesn't matter. This is Virgo, Leo. Uh, you got a Virgo in your chart. Could be your moon sign or your Venus sign. But I feel like at times you feel really good, like you're creating something. And then at other times you get kind of down or, you know, things aren't really happening the way you want them to. But the sun here is the best energy you could have. So I feel like you're st you're trying to keep in that high vibration here. I think I feel like here with the Page of Cups that maybe sometimes you think about reaching out to your masculine to send a little loving energy his way or a little communication to let him know it's okay to either communicate with you or to talk about what happened or to start to clear the air between you. But I think you think about it though, um, but you maybe don't don't do it or don't take action. All right, and we just want to see what's on the bottom of the deck here. Magician. So I feel like you're creating something, regardless of what's going on. Because, again, she's creating something there. And that could be success and victory and making your coin. So that could be really, really looking good for you in that sense. Whatever you're doing or manifesting here is working for you. But yet you get stuck in your head here with the Eight of Swords with other aspects of your life, this connection. You don't know where it's going. You don't know where he stands. You don't know how, maybe you don't even know how he feels. Maybe he's never really been open, honest, and truthful with you. All right. So let's see here for the masculine, what his energy is. What is the masculine's energy at this time? Four of wands, oh my gosh. Well, this is my twin flame card. So you could have just maybe bought a new house or moved. He's could be really stable at this time. That is my twin flame card. So he could be definitely trying to understand the connection or he's starting to. There's a wheel of fortune, as I said, with Jupiter awaken here. For me, it's Sagittarius or Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. So whatever he's doing here, I think things are getting better for him. So... He could have recently moved, bought a new house, um, something in his home life. His finances could be looking good. So I think whatever he's doing here, things are going really, really good for him. Three of Cups. So he could have just celebrated something, maybe an accomplishment. Because that can be Three of Cups about reuniting. It can also be about celebrating. All right, what else here? I feel like he's, whatever he had going on, maybe it's finally cleared up for him also. So I kind of see, you know, she's watching from afar like thunder. So, you know, maybe he had some stuff going on for him, like that tower moment. And maybe you kind of knew and he kind of could sense that you were kind of wondering, waiting about his situation, uh, whatever he was going through. And wondering, you know, is he okay? What is he doing? Is, has he, you know, did he get through it? 
know what's going on. So I would say yes, I think he's gone through it. Things that took a turn for the better. Things are going really, really good. You know, feeling really happy. Maybe he's celebrated some sort of accomplishment or triumph here. Hierophant. Oh my goodness. So he's really leveled up here. This could be, you know, leveling up in education, work, um, higher levels in all forms. This is about, can be about marriage, commitment. So, you know, maybe, you know, maybe he's just recently divorced here because we do have the Queen of Swords, which is Libra energy. This can represent lawyers, um, something in the judicial field, wise counsel, advisors, some sort of representation. Can even be therapy or counseling. And it also can speak to me of divine intervention here or the divine stepping in, getting total mental clarity. Again, swords here is all about clearing the air because it's honest, open, truthful conversation, communication. I feel like whatever this is for him, whatever you know, whatever he was going through, whether it was a divorce or whatever, I think it's completed for him. And his life is finally leveling up in some way. He's finally starting to see things turn, starting to feel um, luck is finally on his side. So he could be getting ready here to clear the air with this Queen of Swords energy. King or Queen doesn't matter. Again, that's Libra. So let's see here for Leo, the feminine on this side, if you're the feminine, how you're feeling, thinking, and viewing your masculine. Hangman. So you see him as not taking action. Nothing's really happening right now. Four of Cups. Yeah, feeling kind of disenchanted, melancholy. It's like you don't really know what's going on. And I kind of felt like that energy. Four of Cups, you know, thinking, contemplating, praying, meditating, whatever you're doing here. Enlightenment. We got Pisces energy here. Because usually the hangman usually does take action eventually. Oh my gosh, Ten of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> oh my goodness, so we have Sagittarius. So he's got the wheel over here, and now you have the wheel. This is Sagittarius to me, or it's Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, or Scorpio. So you're waiting for things to turn here because you see this total happiness and joy and fulfillment with your masculine. You're just waiting for things to turn, the wheels to spin for things to start just moving in the right direction, divine timing, something meant to be. You both see that. But you know right now there's just no action. There's not a lot going on. You're totally unclear about, and you're waiting, waiting for that enlightenment as to how he truly feels, I feel. Yeah, Ace of Swords. And the Queen over there has the Ace. So this is... Again, awakening, epiphany, aha moments, clear-cut communication, successful new beginnings. So that's what you're waiting on. Again, Hermit under that, not a lot of action happening here. So you're waiting for that clarity, that communication of how your masculine truly, truly feels. You could be getting ready here to clear the air. That Ace of Swords, again, clears the air. All right, didn't ask yet. So how is the masculine feeling, thinking, and viewing the feminine? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? This happened, I just did Aries, same thing happened. I was getting repeating cards in the same position. He's got the hangman in the exact same position right there. So he may be uncertain about how you truly feel about him anymore. If you still care for him, if you still have feelings for him. You're both like waiting for some sort of um, enlightenment. Pisces energy there, so there's no action on either side. All right, what else here? King of Wands. So he's, this is Leo. So he's definitely thinking of you, Leo. Definitely, definitely. That's my Leo card, King of Wands. He's like, how does Leo feel? I don't know anymore. Do they still have feelings for me? Do they still care for me? Do they still feel the way they used to? The moon. Yeah, they unclear here. Not certain. He has a little bit of fear also. He may be fearing here that you don't feel the same way anymore. It's Pisces energy again. All right. 
He's uncertain, unclear, can't see the path. But, oh my goodness, Empress, he knows you're his Empress, Libra Taurus energy here. He knows you're his Divine Feminine now. He sees you in that light, but he's uncertain you feel the same. So I feel like he's in a really, really good place now, and you would like to come forward and clear the air, to take steps forward. But he's uncertain if you still have feelings for him, like you used to. So he's just not taking action here with the Four of Swords. He's just overthinking this. Wow. So the ten of, uh, world here is about, you know, cycles ending, new cycles starting. So he feels like, you know, new cycle could be started here, but he doesn't know what to do. And the world, again, can be Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, or Scorpio. All right. So let's see what your obstacles and challenges are for the feminine. For the feminine, what are the feminine's obstacles and challenges right now? And you know, I'm just looking at all the blue here on that heaven card, Leo. And blue is all about the throat chakra, which is about truth, clarity, communication, conversation, speaking. So definitely something here with the throat chakra. All right, obstacles. Well, we got the King of Wands showing up. That's my Leo card. Conflict. So you could be going through a lot of conflict right now of some kind. Magician. So whatever you're manifesting or creating, Two of Swords. You may be having some um, either competition or conflict about this. King of Wands, that's you. That's Leo. Magician, you're manifesting something new. Gemini, Virgo. But we have indecisive energy here or some sort of blocks are not seeing something clearly not sure what to do so i feel like your block or challenge right now or obstacles is that whatever you're also creating is i feel like you're uncertain whether or not you're on the right path or you're doing the right thing because there's either too much competition or too much conflict surrounding it and i feel like this is really taking up a lot of your energy so you could be worried about losing money, lacking financially, or things not working out here with the Five of Pentacles. But I feel like Nine of Wands, you're fighting. You're, you're fighting like heck here to do this. But then we got the Queen of um, Swords here. And we had the Queen of Swords on the bottom of his deck earlier. I think you're on the right path. But, you know, sometimes you got to go through trials and tribulations to get the end results you want. So I think you're going to have to keep persevering on here or whatever this is for you. So let's see what the masculine's obstacles or challenges are. Oh my God, it's way too many. What are the masculine's obstacles and challenges right now? Oh my goodness, okay. Ace of Swords. So that's how <laughs> we have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of your deck just a little bit ago. Three of Swords. I think his big challenge right now is actually coming forward to clear the air. He's worried about getting his heart broken. That's coming up heavy here. He doesn't know if you still feel the same about it. I almost feel like crying right now. I feel like this is heart-wrenching for him. He does not know if you still feel the same, and I think you do. He could be he could see you, you know, creating something here, and he may feel like, oh, maybe Leo just doesn't have time for me. All right, what else here? Ten of Pentacles, oh my God. <laughs> Wealth, abundance, growth, prosperity for the long term, marriage commitment. Oh my gosh. So he could be, a, you know, he could be fearing long term commitment again. Doesn't want to get his heart broken again. So he's having trouble here coming forward. King of Swords. Yeah, this is all about truth and clarity. We had the Queen of Swords just a little bit ago on his bottom of his deck. So all that sword energy is about truth, clarity, you know, communication, conversation, clearing the air right there. Clear the air. He's had the King and Queen of Swords, which is a matching couple. So he knows this is some sort of special divine connection. I and mean, he has the Hierophant up there the empress the moon is the feminine energy he may be more in his feminine energy right now so he could be 
really emotional right now and i did feel like crying just a few minutes ago so he could be really actually when he's thinking of you could really be like at night crying <laughs> for some masculines let's see yeah look at that nine of swords laying in bed just dreaming and hoping for wish fulfillment here with the nine of cups a lot of nines here wow so I feel like his challenge right now is to actually come forward and clear the air. Fear of getting his heart broken, if he does. A fear of maybe even being in long-term commitment again, especially if he's recently divorced. I feel like I feel like he's single. I don't feel like he's still in a. I mean, the four of wands can be marriage. But I feel like here with the wheel of fortune there that whatever he was going through is cleared up because we have clear the air right there all right so let's see here let's see here what the outer influences could be outer influences could be here for you for the feminine seven of swords Ooh. okay hermit virgo energy so you actually could have someone around i'm just sorry i just thought i heard a noise and i'm like it's only me in the house so that kind of freaked me out a little bit <laughs> it's me and my cat i'm like okay all right there you go all right, this one, one more. What are your outer influences? Two of wands at a crossroads, 10 of swords, oof. I feel like you're struggling because we have two wands here, like two paths. So you could actually be doing one thing and trying to create something else too. And I feel like you're having a hard time here deciding what path to end and close out that is no longer serving you and whatever i feel like whatever this other thing is there could be a lot of lies deceit sabotaging energy sneaky behavior um not in your best favor so you're really thinking long and hard do i really want to stay in the situation any longer but this new thing i'm creating can i survive solely on that so you're needing to choose a path here and i think this is and you know and a lot of times until you know and the hermit can be very spiritual so i don't know if you're going on a spiritual quest or a spiritual journey well obviously or spiritual business or something like that and sometimes until you really follow through with actually your life purpose in this life in this journey sometimes it doesn't manifest the union here until we're truly in the path we're meant to be in so i feel like you have a path here and you need to choose and that's your obstacle right now there's something more balanced for you here with the six of pentacles energy King of Cups needing to follow your heart and needs to be a big shift and change here with the Tower energy. You need to step into your Empress powers. Look at that. Libra, Taurus, Aries. King of Cups can be Pisces. Can it signs in your chart or just the energy? All right. So let's see here for the masculine. So if this is resonating for you, Leo, please do give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonates. Again, we'd be going to the extended in a minute here. I'll show you those cards for the extended. Links are below if you like to go. Page of Wands. That's about communication again. Heavy, heavy wanting to clear the air and communicate. Seven of Swords. Wow. He's got a repeating card. You have the Seven of Swords on your side too. All right. What else here? Nine of Swords. He's stressed out about this. Wow. Oh, all right. What else? Six of Swords. So, four of Swords again on the bottom of the deck. So, heavily thinking about this, yeah, Justice here. Knight of Cups, four of Pen. I definitely feel like here, because now this is for, about four of Movement in Love, following his heart, wanting to go where his heart is being led and guided to. But Scorpio energy. There's a lot of holding back. Again, we're wanting to come through with that offer. 
justice can be divorced and I felt that so Libra energy here so but not a lot of sharing just kind of thinking not sure what to do here he doesn't has no clue what to do he's confused he doesn't even know if you feel the same if you even have time for him this is sense of here moving forward but he's stressed seven of swords can be i mean that could be tricky behavior page of wands communication or an offer coming in again wanting to send out communication but he doesn't want to be deceived he doesn't want to be let down he doesn't want to be rejected so he just kind of runs from this but it's eating him alive here with the nine of swords he don't know whether to move on or come forward he's he's really confused here my goodness we're going to see where this is going to go so let's see what we have here for the feminine we have heart of god we have cleansing waters for the masculine here we have guardian of the soul family hmm, i don't think i've ever gotten that card and we have far away places hmm. okay leo so again if you go the extended i shall see you there if not best of luck to you sending you many many light love and blessings and i shall see you next time